Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jess and I make beauty and lifestyle videos. Uh, usually beauty relating to makeup or hair. Um, so, if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate it. It shows me that you enjoy my videos. <sighs> now, if you guys are returning subscribers or viewers to my channel, then you will notice something different. Give you a second. I went and I got my hair cut. Now, my hairdresser is not my usual hairdresser. I saw someone new this time. I went in and I said that I wanted a trim. I said maybe an inch to an inch and a half off because I'm trying to grow my hair. Uh, the hairdresser that I saw took that as advice as opposed to what I wanted. And while he was absolutely lovely, he decided to take it upon himself to cut off about two and a half inches of hair. Now, to somebody who's got quite long hair, that probably isn't a big deal. But to me, who has been growing my hair out over the last six to eight months, uh, yeah, it's a big deal. So two and a half inches is a lot of hair. My hair used to sit about here. And as you guys can see, it no longer does. Um, he also popped in some front layers, which I don't hate, um, but it's not what I usually get. So he thought that it would be nice to break up the blockiness that my hair had, um, but I actually like the blockiness. So anyway, he got a little scissor happy and now we are trying to grow my hair again. Um, like I said, my hair was getting to quite a longer length. It was sitting about here and it is not anymore. So we're going to talk all things hair today um, and everything we're going to try and do to grow my hair. If you guys are wondering, I have a How I Grew My Hair in First Place video. Um, I'll leave it up in the cards for you. I put that up a few weeks back. But today we're going to talk about all the products I'm going to use and everything I'm going to do to try and grow my hair. So let's jump into it. First of all, uh, I only wash my hair twice a week. I normally do one deep shampoo and conditioner and I do one like very gentle shampoo and conditioner. I normally wash my hair on a Thursday because I am a creature of habit and I like to and generally I work out um, and have Fridays and Saturdays off. So I wash my hair on a day that I know that I'm going to have a couple days and I'm not going to work out afterwards. This helps to lengthen my style um, slash lengthen how long I can go without needing to wash my hair. A good week is I can go sort of wash it twice. Um, if I don't exercise, I can go longer. And yeah, but I find, I find with um, working out that I feel like I need to wash it twice because otherwise like the sweat on my hair gets gross. Anyway, let's talk products. Let's talk an old favorite first. Um, if you guys have followed me for any sort of time, then you would know that I love the Kevin Murphy uh, Repair Me Wash and uh, Rinse. These are the massive like salon sizes. I will leave them linked down below if you're interested. Um, these are fantastic for damaged hair. They are fantastic when my hair had a lot of blonde in it. Um, they have a lot of proteins to help rebuild that hair. Uh, but my hair is actually in pretty good condition at the moment, which is why I'm introducing the other two shampoo and conditioners that I have into my rotation. Um, please take what you need for your hair out of this video. You don't need every product that I have, but I will tell you what I use each product for and how I use it so that you know what you can look at. So these are fantastic if you have very, very dry, damaged hair. Um, they will be too heavy if your hair is very, very fine or very, very... Um, limp these are quite a heavy product they smell incredible but they're quite heavy so for somebody who's got um fine hair i definitely i recommend their like volume range their volume range is fantastic i have friends that use it um in case you're wondering another one from kevin murphy i'm going to like i said i have a lot of protein that i don't necessarily need a ton more in my hair my hair is in very good condition you guys can probably tell i only have a tiny bit of blonde left at the bottom and the rest of this is all my natural hair um, i've done no styling to it today this was how it dried so it's got some ringlet curls at the bottom and then some straight bits up the top because i run my fingers through those um, and so we'll talk about styling products in a minute there's not a whole lot i use on my hair um, despite the fact that i have drawers full of styling products 
but we will talk about those in a second continuing on with shampoo and conditioner um like i said i do not need as much protein in my hair i was using that shampoo and conditioner once a week um i am going to use to move it to once a fortnight and i am going to sub this in for once a week this is the kevin murphy hydrate me range um this is actually the christmas gift pack it comes with a detangling spray that i've never tried um but it works out cheaper so i will leave the gift pack down below um it works out a lot cheaper to get it in the gift pack plus i also get a product with it that i wouldn't have got otherwise and it's a full size product too so i'll talk about that in a second um, but this is the hydrate me wash and rinse they come in like a purple color and basically again quite heavy products but i have quite thick um dry hair naturally um these are going to be so I don't overload my hair with protein because we are going to talk about the protein treatment that I do on my hair once a week and the hair mask that I do on my hair once a week as well. Um, but these are going to be my every second week wash instead of using my repair me every week. This will give my hair a break from the extra protein that I don't necessarily need. Um, but also give my hair a lot of hydration and moisture, especially, like I said, I work out a lot and we're also going into summer. So everything gets a little bit drier in summer. So, I did use, I have used these years ago, um, and I've recently obviously repurchased them. Like I said, I got it in a Christmas pack, so it also comes with the Young Again Oil Treatment Spray. Haven't given this a go, so I can't tell you how good it is, um, but it also comes with that, which is really nice. The last shampoo and conditioner I'm going to talk about are actually an organic, or natural shampoo and conditioner. They're very, very, very gentle on my hair, and I really love that about them. Um, it's actually what I've used on my hair today. And these are for my midweek wash because they are very, very gentle. Um, they are the Ever Essence Organic Hair Care in the Remedy Shampoo and Conditioner for reverses the sign of damage and increases hair strength. So this does have some sort of protein in it, but it's very, very gentle. The first ingredient in both the shampoo and conditioner is actually aloe vera. So it's very, very moisturizing. They do have a range, a bunch of ranges for this. Um, and they also have Christmas gift packs out at the moment. So I did get the treatment I'll talk about in a second with the gift pack. So I will leave that link down below if you guys are interested. They are an Australian brand. They are curly or friendly in case you guys are looking at getting curly girl friendly products. Um, they are curly girl friendly. They're sulfate and silicone free. Um, they're 83% certified organic without silicones, artificial colors, fragrances, parabens, or formaldehyde. 99.8% naturally derived, uh, not tested on animals, etc. etc. Um, they're also environmentally friendly because you can actually refill by the refills for them as well, which is quite cool. They're actually not super duper pricey either, they are cheaper than the Kevin Murphy, if you are wondering. Um, but yes, this is the Remedy Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, very, very moisturizing, but not overly heavy. They've got a gorgeous, they're orange. Um, sweet blossom scent so really smell really nice they're very organic selling but not in like a they're not it they're not too like herbally smelling they just generally smell a bit like orange so really really nice I've also been using this midweek um, like I said just mostly to get the, all the extra sweat and gunk out of my hair um, because like I said I work out quite regularly and that builds up on my scalp and then it gets itchy and gross and yuck Moving on to treatments, um, and then we'll do leave-in products last. So with treatments, I use rice water very regularly. Um, rice water, I have a whole video on it. I'll leave it up in the cards up here. But rice water is one of my favorite things I've used for my hair. It is something that has shown a lot of hair growth, a lot of hair strength. It's fantastic for my hair. Um, I use rice water on my scalp uh, very, very regularly. At the moment, I am doing it daily and massaging it in. I'm um, only on my scalp though because I don't want to overload my hair. Back to the protein thing, uh, rice water has a ton of protein so if your hair is protein sensitive, using the scalp treatment might actually be a good idea for you. I use it quite regularly, um, like I said I'm doing it daily at the moment, uh, but I don't always do it daily. I tend to find that I do it um, a couple days a week um, on a regular basis. I'm only doing it daily because I'm trying to grow my hair. And I find that it does make a big difference. So I have a whole video on rice water. This is my current one. Um, I will leave that, like I said, linked up in the cards if you're interested. But yeah, um, 
on top of my daily scalp spray, I use rice water as a weekly or bi-weekly treatment. Uh, at the moment I'm using it weekly, I can use it sort of like every second week. If you have protein sensitive hair, maybe look at it maybe once a month. But basically what I will do is I will drench my hair in rice water. Um, I will leave it for anywhere from three minutes to an hour. Um, and then I will rinse it out and deep condition. Um, it's very important to deep condition after doing a rice water treatment um, because then you're going to balance out that protein moisture balance. Uh, you don't want too much protein or too much moisture in your hair and using a protein treatment and following it up with a uh, moisturizing treatment is a really good idea. So generally I will do a rice water treatment the day before I'm going to wash my hair. So I will wet my hair in the shower, get out, absolutely soak this, leave it on for however long I'm going to leave it, hop back in the shower, rinse it out, and then follow up with um, my like once a week moisture treatment. So I normally leave my moisture treatment on overnight, and I have a couple different masks that I like to use, but the one I'm currently using is I use one part, um, one part castor oil to two parts jojoba oil and then I mix it with whatever hair mask I'm using that week. At the moment I'm using the Ever Essence Organic Cinnamon and Patchouli Deep Treatment. Um, you can use whatever hair treatment you like but like I said I do one part, for me it's one pump castor oil, or sorry two pump castor oil, four pumps of jojoba oil and then I will mix it with probably about a tablespoon of my deep treatment. I will apply that to my hair, my wet hair, um, until it's soaked and then I'll put it up in a bun, put a shower cap on and I will sleep with it in. Then the next day I will shampoo twice and condition uh, my hair. So that is my sort of hair washing routine. I do my hair moisture mask or my like um, deep mask. I do that once a week. Like I said, I put it in the day before I wash my hair and then I will use my Kevin Murphy to wash it out. I do shampoo twice to wash it out um, and then I condition afterwards. This is incredible for the overall health of my hair. It's been, it was incredible for growing my hair because castor oil and jojoba oil have amazing benefits for your hair. Um, they've also they've got amazing benefits for growing your hair. I am trialing out some other oils as well, but I haven't trialed them out long enough to want to talk about them. Once I have done a little bit more trialing, I will come on and I'll talk about the scalp treatment that I have been trialing uh, with the oils. But this is the one I'm currently doing. I will leave it up on the screen in writing if you guys do want to copy it out. Um, and like I said, my routine is currently that I will rice water treatment the day before, leave it in for up to an hour, rinse it out, put in my deep conditioning treatment, leave that overnight and wash it the next day. So that's my current wash routine and then somewhere in the middle of the week I will use the organic shampoo and conditioner, whichever one. I also really like the Shea Moisture one. So. Moving on to styling products. I've got quite a few like cream style products here and one oil. Let's talk the oil first because it's the only one that I use. This is the Playa, Playa, I think it's Playa, Ritual Hair Oil, Weightless Shine Polish Oils of Cacao, or Kaku, Kuku, Kukai, um, Apricot and Sunflower. This is probably the best oil I've ever tried and I've tried a lot of them. Um, it is completely silicone and paraben free. It is completely girly. Uh, it will be curly girl friendly. It is incredible. It smells amazing. It's so incredibly lightweight. You would really struggle to go overboard with this oil. Um, it has a little dropper sort of like thing with a button on the top. Um, I normally put in maybe like a very, very small five cent piece. Um, amount or you know quite a small amount on my hands and I work this through from probably about my eyes down. I try not to put this on my scalp um, but what I will do is I will take whatever's left on my hands after I've run it through my ends and I just sort of like f uh, push down any like flyaways. This oil is probably the best one I've ever tried. It is a little bit pricey but so are most oils. It is 
really really good this is my third bottle of it and you really don't need a lot I will leave it linked down below um, they do make like a shampoo a conditioner a, uh, a sea salt spray and I think another thing but I never tried any of those products I just know that this is incredible um, it's so incredibly lightweight if you guys have tried the Olaplex oil it's similar to that in texture or in the way that it's very very light um, it's not heavy on your hair if you have fine hair you can absolutely get away with using this but it's moisturizing enough for someone like me who has a lot of hair and it's quite uh, dense. Moving on to cream products, I've got one spray. Um, this is the Iron Co Centerpiece All-in-One Elixir Spray. I'm nearly out of this. I'm going to have to order some more. Um, but I've got a couple other sprays that I'm using that I'll probably use up before I do. But this is my favorite. So this is literally, as it's called, an all-in-one spray. Paraben sulfate, petroleum, mineral oil, cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan, UV protection. Um, basically, the idea of this is it's a multi-task spray. So it defrizzes, it detangles, it protects against... UV uh, and it hydrates it. The only thing annoying about this is it's got a really like concentrated sprayer. I'm not sure if that's because it's the travel size or if it's just the way the spray is because it's quite a thick spray. Um, so I would say that if you're a little bit worried about that, spray directly into your hands and then run your fingers through. But I love this. It's really, really nice. It is on par with my Bumble and Bumble primer spray. So I do still use that as well. This is just the one that I'm using at the moment and I really like it and it smells so, so, so freaking good. Another Iron Co product I have is the Iron Co High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream. Shine, shine. Moisture and Shine Cream. Um, this one is another one that helps with moisturizing, softening, and um, sealing frizz. This can be used on air dried or blow dried hair, so it doesn't have a peat protectant. Um, it is just a leave in conditioner. This one is all the free things I said before SLS, petroleum, mineral oil, paraben, blah, 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 blah. Um, again, another mini size. You really don't need a lot of this. You only really need about a pea size amount. I actually mix this with my other leave in conditioners, um, but it's really, really nice. It smells the same as the other one, like candy. Really yummy. Um, it's really nice. So it does have silicones in it, so it's not curly or friendly, but it's a really nice leave-in conditioner in case you're looking. Moving on to the other products I've got. I do have one curly girl friendly product I'll leave till last, but let's talk about the other one. The Bumble and Bubble Don't Blow It Thick Hair Styling Spray um, for medium to thick hair. They also have one for fine hair, which I have friends that have fine hair that say this is great. This is awesome on a day that I'm not planning on using any heat on my hair. If I don't plan to blow dry it, I'm planning to leave it. It's very, very thick. Um, and basically, I mix this with my next one that I'll talk about, or I'll mix this with the R & Co one. Um, it's very, very uh, conditioning. It reduces frizz, adds control um, for an air-dried style. It's wonderful. I just, I've actually purchased three of these, I think. Um, it smells nice, bumble and bubble. Stuff always smell fairly nice. It is a little bit pricey, but they do make a sample size. Um, so if you're worried about if you're going to like it or not, I recommend buying the little sample size. That still lasts ages. Um, but I really do like this for air styling my hair and moisturizing. It does a good job. The other one I'm using at the moment is the Kevin Murphy Leave-In Repair Nourishing Leave-In Treatment. This, I really do like this, but only when I've mixed it with another product. On its own, I find that this is not quite moisturizing enough for my hair. So I think if you've got slightly finer hair than me, you could probably get away with this by itself. But because I have so much hair and I have a lot of hair, um, I find that this is just not enough sort of on its own. It is a leave-in treatment. Um, it's, it's a leave-in moisturizer. It's got a pump. Um, I normally do one pump. It's quite pricey for what it is, um, and I do really like it, but it's not my favorite. It is what I'm using at the moment, though, so I wanted to mention it. The last product I'm going to use is an actual favorite that I've been using now, and it is a part of the Ever Essence uh, Organic Hair Care Rain. And this is the Sculpting Lotion in Organic Lavender and Pink Grapefruit. It smells really nice. This is a really weird product, but I love it. It's curly or friendly. Um, it comes out, it's a styling lotion, but it comes out almost like... A mix between an oil and a gel. Um, it's very, very slippy. 
Um, it's actually an orange clear color, um, which is not what I was expecting when I started using it. You need the smallest amount of this, like one pump for like your whole head, maybe two. Um, if you go overboard with this, you will get crunch. If you have curls, um, definitely try this as like a gel product in place of your gel because at the end you can scrunch it out but it has a little bit of hold but it's not like it has a little bit of hold uh it's not sticky it's not crunchy it's really nice like my hair i have it in my hair today and you can't tell that it's in there but it's done an awesome job of like preventing strews and holding shape and then the little curls that i have underneath um, it's held them as well. So this is a fantastic all-in-one product. I mixed this, um, I used the spray and I used this mixed with a little bit of this today and it was awesome. It's, it's, it's literally a mix between like a gel and an oil but they call it a lotion. Um, the first ingredient is aloe vera but it's, yeah, it's really nice. It smells wonderful. It's got a lot of ton of really, really good ingredients. It's multi-purpose styling tool providing body balance, curl definition, and control. Um, I've tried the uh, the blue one. It's like a styling um, cream, and I like this better. Um, I think this would be good for all textures of hair. Straight. Um, it gives you a little bit of definition, a little bit of pieciness without overdoing it. It's still soft. If you've got curly hair, it gives you a little bit of hold. It doesn't weigh my hair down, so I've still got plenty of bounce. Um, and this is incredible. This is an awesome, awesome product, and I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested. I'll actually leave the set that I have because it came with, um, you can buy it in the set as well. So, those are all the products I'm currently using. I'm also going to be doing the inversion method. Uh, I don't know if I've done a video on this. Maybe I will. Uh, but I'm doing the inversion method. I'm on day two at the moment just to see, uh, if I can get some growth. <laughs> but, yeah. This has been a very long-winded video, but I thought I would talk about all the products I'm going to be using to help grow out my hair and all the things that have worked in the past to help grow out my hair. So, if you guys have any tips or tricks for fast hair growth, please leave them down below. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you guys want to follow along my hair growth journey where I test out all of these hair chicks and myths to see how quickly we can get our hair down. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys in my next video. I do apologize for missing an upload on Sunday. I very, very rarely miss an upload. And I did this week because I was actually sick. And I didn't get the video edited in time. So I apologize in advance for that. But we're, we should be back to our usual schedule of Tuesdays and Sundays as of today. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.